All right, everyone, welcome back to 3 a.m. cards. And today we're doing Call Dime Collector Box, opening Call Dime in 2023. So market value on these boxes right now is around $150. And I always say it, investing in modern era singles is a terrible idea because of the overprinting, how volatile the market is. And there's one card from this set that really sticks out to me as far as that. Because I remember the Phyrexian Vorinclex in a foil was going for like $200. I know a lot of people were holding on to their copies. Now that thing is all the way down to like $80 or $90. Again, I don't think anyone is going to complain if they pull an $80 or $90 card out of a pack. But that's just an example of how volatile the market can be. So I'm always going to say it until I'm blue in the face. Avoid investing in modern era cards actually I'm, I'm saying that and the cards like that like the special variants and the foils of the uh, cards that are actually good like warren collects the bombs i think those probably have the best chance of going up in value as time goes on because all these new variants only started with throne of eldrain so we don't really don't know where the market's going to be with those especially as the collector box inventory starts drying up but who knows how long that's going to take with how overprinted a lot of these sets were but let's do some call dime. So, what is it? Norse Mythology. Gives me God of War vibes, a lot of the stuff in here now. So we got Crown of Skemfar from the Commander set. Rally the Ranks. Showdown of the Sklads. Ah, Quakebringer. I, I tried to make a giant deck. I tried to make it work, but it just wasn't happening, even with the Quake Bringer, even with four of them. What's he? Yeah, I think if he's in your grave, you already uh, two damage to each opponent. Ah, and Rune Forge Champion. I almost forgot about him. Remember Naya Runes um, from Standard back in 2021? Yeah, that was just nasty. Yeah, the yeah, there's the one with that and uh, is it Jukai Naturalist from uh, Kamigawa? You're just casting all those rune spells for free. The Fari's Betrayal. Reflections. As he enters the battlefield, uh, as this enters the battlefield, we choose a creature type, then whenever you cast a spell of that type, you copy it. A creature type. Not any spell. That would be ludicrous. Necromancer. God of Fury? Why do I feel like I've never seen this card? I know. I guess I just never noticed it. It is a mythic. Maybe that's why it's sticking out. So whatever. Second mythic of the box. Then Halvar, got a battle, third mythic of the box, showcase foil on him. Yeah, and Call Dime's kind of where everything started changing because we came off of 2019 and 2020. The magic market was on fire. All the collector boxes were new and hot. Throne of Eldrain, Ikaria, all that. Double Masters, Modern Horizons. Then Call Dime came out, and that's kind of when everyone's like, hey, this new set that's supposed to be good. These uh, these boxes are opening to like little to no value. We're, we're getting like $50 called on draft boxes. It was absurd. Glorious Protector. Redeem, God of Worthy. Nico, 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 Eris. So fourth mythic right there with Nico. Then a Realm Eater. And if any of these borders are looking familiar, that's because... Uh, this style, I guess they kind of started this in Ikaria. I guess this one may be a little different. Kind of gives me like comic book vibes, but they've continued that. And then in March of the Machine, they kind of brought back a lot of the old uh, showcase or retro frames from the other sets. So that's why those look familiar, because you see cards just like that in March of the Machine. Blade of the Elves, one of the hottest commanders right now. Uh, from the Commander Precom, but I think the regular version still fetches decent money. In Realm Waker, Changeling, enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. So I'm pretty sure that's also in that same, uh, that same pre-con. Waking the Trolls. Darkmoor Pathway. No, I almost forgot about Pathway Land. So you know I love these lands. You choose which side you put down when you play it. So... Um, you do have to make that decision, but they look fantastic in the artwork like this. So this one's going to give us black or green mana. So yes, Pathway Lands. They also had those in Zendikar Rising. It was the first time we saw those. K 
Canopy Tactician. It's like we're getting all the cards from that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's in the pre-con as well. Dream Devour. Reckless Crew. Es Eska Asika's Chariot. Very nice there. That definitely doesn't look like the cat tokens. Those things look a little more ferocious, but that's a great one right there. I had a lot of fun with that card back in Standard. 2021 Standard, one of my favorite times to play Magic. And like I was saying, when this set was first came out, a lot of the value was really down. But I feel like this was kind of a weird set, and it took people a while to really find the synergy and where some of the cards fit in the different formats. Now, um, some of the cards that, my God, were basically almost worthless when this set first came out, they have pretty decent value. Oh, the World Tree! Extended art on the World Tree, which is not a mythic, that's surprising. Brazen Outlaw in the Showcase. Yeah, we'll just do that. The Mystic Reflection. Extended R and Mystic uh, Reflection there. Yeah, I remember playing that one with the uh, Terror of the Peaks deck, yeah. Yes, again, Standard was fun back then. You had All Rounds Epiphany before that got banned. You were taking extra turns. Yeah, Tamur Midrange, that was just, that deck was something. Ah, and that's something right there. Very nice. So Voren Clex in the foil. That is, I think the showcase version is the most expensive card in the set of him, but that is just awesome right there. He's, he's been reprinted a few times, right? Multiverse Legends, I do believe. Wasn't he in like Phyrexia All Will Be One as well? Yeah, but he's been reprinted a few times, but such a powerful card. Doubling those 1-1 one -one counters. Trample Haste. If your opponent tries to put a 1-1 one -one counter on something, they're not going to be able to do it. Don't tell them that, though. Or actually tell them when they try to. Blood Sky Sire, nice, another nice one here. So this one has that boast ability. So you can only, you have to uh, attack with the creature to activate that. You can only activate it once per turn. But the attack with this thing, it's a 2-3 death touch. It might die, but you get to tutor out of it. And if you can somehow keep it alive, you're going to get to tutor every turn. That's one of those cards whenever I uh, do a black EDH deck, I have a hard time not putting in there. Oh yeah, Snowlands, of course. Some of the Snowlands and Foils, um, I think still fetching some money, or maybe I'm thinking of the ones from uh, Modern Horizons 1. Icebreaker Kraken, another Runeforge champion. Oh, there we go. Starnheim the Unleashed. Yeah, I forgot how good some of the borderless artwork was in this set. So this one's going to cost four mana, but we can do that foretell ability. And if we foretell it, we get to create... Um, we have a lot of mana a lot of uh angels white ones that are flying i guess i put voren Clex in his own pile over there then we got elvish war master just like josh barnett out there for any mma fans the war master i don't think that guy's fought in god that guy was fighting in the early 2000s so people are probably like what the hell are you talking about dude i only know connor mcdonald or whatever his name is Skemfar Avenger, another God of Kinship, Egon, God of Death, then Doomscar, uh, nice board clear right here, kind of like Wrath of God, um, you can foretell it if you want to pay uh, only three mana, otherwise you got to pay five, but we're destroying all creatures. I'm surprised, only one pathway land so far. Let's see if that changes. Bounty of Skemfar, Blessing of Frost, Dream Devour, nothing special there. Another Halvar, um, oh yeah, I did put him in the Mythic Pile, so another Halvar, that one is only in a, uh, that one's in, not in a foil, but we get Bergy, excuse me, Bergy got a Storytelling, Showcase Foil on that, I know that's getting played in Commander, adding all kinds of mana, you don't lose it as steps and phases end, so you just lose it when your turn ends. More weak in the trolls. Tybalt's Trickery. This was the card that was supposed to take over Standard and a bunch of crazy things were supposed to happen. Did they ban this? I can't even... No, I don't think they ended up banning it. But I know if you want to pause that and read that. Apparently there was some like crazy like infinite combo you could do with that. But it, it just never took off because apparently in best of three it just wasn't... Uh, 
wasn't a viable option. Righteous Valkyrie, very nice right there. So whenever Angel or Cleric enters the battlefield under your control, gain life equal to its toughness, and as long as you got seven or more life, plus two, plus two for all the creatures. Then Kaya the Exonerable. I've ran her before. I do like that ability right there, the minus three to just uh, exile target non-land permanent. Does some stuff with ghost form counters. Was never like a world beater or anything, but she was cool. All right, last pack for our Call Dime Collector Box. Again, with how cheap we got these things for, um, oh, whatever. I, I think we did good. I think we might be around 150, especially because we got the Vorin Clicks there in a foil. So let's see if we can get at least one more big pull. Not Mystic Reflection or Egon. All right, another Bergy. Bergy's holding decent value there, so. Oh yeah, and Rise of the Dreadmar. Yeah, I always think this is a commander card, but there's another one that's similar to this. So this one is a three mana instant. Create uh, X, two, two black zombie berserker creature tokens, where X is the number of uh, non-token creatures, non creatures that died this turn. All right, guys, we'll get a price on the screen as always. I'll put Bergy back on the table there. And yeah, we'll be back. Uh, Commander Masters is coming up. As always, don't forget to go to 3amcards.com and purchase your discounted packs to be open on live stream. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back. Mm -hmm.